Why do I see human beings? What did they do to my boy? Christ! The animation style is not revolting or anything, except for this stupid fucking thing. No! Fuck! Alright, I know I'm a couple days late to the Minecraft teaser trailer discussion and all the hype that's been going around, but uh, listen, I'm not as late as the actual movie itself because this thing should have came out like 10 years ago. It's a whole 10 years too late for the Minecraft movie. I mean, it'll still do well, but you know, whatever. Anyway, yeah, so we got the Minecraft teaser and I feel a little left out of, you know, the state that the internet has been in in the last couple days. You know, a lot of people have been in a uh, state of disarray and frustration and sadness because of how this movie looks. And I, I don't know, man, I'm, I'm just confused. Like, does this not look like Minecraft? Does it not look like the game? I, am I the only person that thinks that it looks good? Visually, I'm talking about it looks good because again, this is a teaser trailer. It's not even a full length trailer. There's almost nothing of substance in this trailer. It's just vibes, you know, it's just visuals. There's no real clear indication of like, you know, what the story's gonna be or the characters or, you, you know what I mean? Like there's just, there's not a whole lot to really go off of. So. I'm not really sure why so many people are even upset about it. You know, granted, what they are upset about is the elephant in the room, which of course is these live action people, right? And I understand it. You know, on one hand, I sympathize with that argument. If anything, I'm an advocator for that side of the argument, right? Where I think that most adaptations of something should adhere to the visual style that it is adapting. For example, Lego movie, it should look like Legos. Super Mario Brothers, it should look like Super Mario Brothers. Everybody's got weird proportions. It's colorful. It's whimsical. Perfect, right? The live action Sonic stuff works for the most part for me because Sonic is just in a lot of live action looking environments in the games anyway. You know, you have this colorful character, cartoonish looking character in realistic looking environments, right? That's fine. Last of Us looks realistic. It's a realistic show, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The only one that didn't fucking do it correctly recently, you know, Borderlands, of course. How is it that the game that is widely popularized because of its art style, you know, the cell shaded art style, the animated cell shaded art style, how is it not going to be in the movie in any capacity at all? If any movie should have been completely animated, it should have been Borderlands. But anyway, listen, I agree that if this movie wanted to stay true to the games as much as possible, it should have been completely animated. They should have been block people. However, on the other hand, let's think about this logistically. You know, let's think about this objectively. Let's think about this realistically. Put on your executive hats, right? We're a studio executive right now. Would this movie do better in foreign markets if it was a block person? I don't think it would. I think, you know, a lot of people need to realize star power is a huge driving force for foreign revenue in the box office, right? Because at the end of the day, that's what movie making really is, right? It is a business. It is about money. And you can bitch and complain about the state of movies at the moment. But the reality is that everybody keeps watching the shitty fucking movies. So they keep making them. Anyway, Jason Momoa is a huge star. Jack Black is a huge star. You put these guys on the screen, you know, all over the world, people are going to eat it up because star power is a very real thing elsewhere, right? It's not so much in America these days because I don't know, people just don't like celebrities anymore. I don't know what's going on. But point is, is that from an executive standpoint, of course, like why would I do block people? For one, it's gonna make me more money if I do live action people, right? Plain and simple. Two, would this even work? You know what I mean? Like even, not even as an executive anymore, even as a fan of the game, I grew up playing Minecraft, right? I've, I've probably played more Minecraft than a lot of the people watching this video because apparently my target audience is a little bit on the other side, which is fine. But I think I have some standing on saying that I've played more Minecraft than a lot of you guys, okay? I played a lot of this game, a lot of late night with the boys. I grew up playing this game. And as a fan of this game, I'm not sure that a movie with block people would have worked, especially with this art style. You know, the movie's got this kind of like realistic look to it while still adhering to the visual style of Minecraft, you know, blocks, etc. I don't know why I said blocks and etc. It's it's just blocks. There is no etc. Whatever. Anyway, but like, for example, Detective Pikachu, right? It's a realistic take on all the designs that we're used to, and it looks fantastic. And sometimes it's really creepy looking. It's really strange and unsettling, and it freaks you out. Out, but you know what? It is working because it looks like the game. It's the same designs of the game, but live action. Everybody likes Detective Pikachu, right? For the most part, all the fans like that game. And I don't know why this art style works, but this one doesn't. I, I, I'm not sure. Like, I don't know. And imagine if you were to have a block person in this art style, it would look mortifying would it not it would look like the garbage pail kids you know what i'm saying I, I just don't know if a realistic looking block person being expressive would work with this more realistic looking art style i'm not really sure I, it looks janky bro because i look at this and i'm like can i connect to these characters as well as i could with these you know like would i be as emotionally invested with 
blocks than I would with real people. And to that, I I'm not sure that I could. I think I would prefer to see a real performance off of a real person. And then you have people saying, oh, but what about the Lego movie? The Lego movie is also Lego people. This works, why wouldn't block people work? Because we're just used to seeing Lego people be animated and their faces changing and being emotive. That's like part of the whole shtick with Legos. You can mix and match, you can change their faces. We've had commercials and TV shows and video games and movies, again, at this point, where we just see Legos being expressive, so it's not that weird to see this, you know? But if I see this, it's bizarre to me. I can smash Steve over the head with a fucking axe and blow him up with TNT and throw him into lava and his face remains the same. It's bizarre when I see their faces look like this. It's sort of reminiscent of like the Mario accent fiasco with the movie, right? You know, we were waiting for Chris Pratt to do the Mario accent the whole movie, but he didn't and I think it's better off for it. Imagine in these emotional moments and Mario had the goofy accent, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't think it would work. Our whole lives everyone's telling us we can't do this, we can't do that. I'm just sick and tired of feeling so small. Our whole lives, people have been telling us we cannot do this and we cannot do that. I am so sick and tired of being so small. Hey! Leave him alone! Hey! Leave him alone! You see how terrible that was? I mean, granted, I, uh, that was a horrible impersonation by me. I mean, I, <laughs> that was really bad. But you get what I mean? Like, it, it would probably suck ass if it was like that the whole time. Nothing can hurt us as long as we're together. Nothing can hurt us as long as we are together. Same thing in this movie. Like, imagine we're in this emotional scene. We're supposed to be, like, you know, feeling for these characters. And then it cuts to, like, a block person. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, maybe it's too foreign to me. Maybe I'm too old. You know, maybe I didn't grow up on, like, these YouTube animations. But this just looks wrong to me. Which is wild because this is what people want the movie to look like, right? They want these people to just be static caricatures, I guess, from the game. Listen, I think sometimes a direct adaptation is maybe not the best way to go. I, I really think this movie would lose a lot of money and would alienate a lot of viewers if they went the block people route. I mean, look, this is this is what people want. This is an animation from YouTube. Millions of views, comments that are gassing it up. And even so, the faces are not moving in this trailer. Well, like, could you watch this? Who are you? I am Steve. <sighs> okay. This guy is such a tool bag. What the fuck? And sure, you could also say, oh, corporate greed this and whatever. Oh, this, is a, this is not a passion product. These are passion products. This is greed. Listen, bro, let, let's be honest here. A lot of people making this movie are probably fans of Minecraft. You know what I mean? Like Minecraft is a huge, huge game. A lot of people play this game. A lot of people like this game. I'm sure a lot of the animators and the director and even the actors in it and all of their children and their children's friends have played in like Minecraft, right? Uh, let's, let's not pretend that that isn't the case probably. And like, you know, there's got to be some sort of upside to this. Like, for example, I thought the little crafting table scene was cute. You know, they're going to put in wrong items to create a wrong recipe and create like an abomination or something. If they do fun and wacky stuff like that throughout the movie, I don't see why it wouldn't be like a fun enough watchable time at the movies, right? Just like Mario and Sonic was and Jumanji. All these movies are fine. You know, they're not amazing, but they're fine. They're watchable. They're enjoyable. And I think that's just what this movie is probably going to be. I don't know, it doesn't seem as bad as people are making it out to be just yet, because again, it is a teaser trailer. There's not a lot going on here. You know, there's not, there's nothing really to get upset about, I feel like. I, I don't know, am I, am I alone or not? It's just weird. Moreover, it's very clearly a kid's movie. Like, I, I don't know how much more clear this teaser trailer could have been. If any, if this one thing that this teaser trailer got across is that it is a kid's movie because this little boy is in the center frame of every shot, pretty much, you know what I mean? So clearly he's the main character. Clearly we're gonna be following him around. I think kids are probably gonna love this movie. Imagine, the, the plot of the movie is more than likely going to be something like Jumanji. You know, they, these guys get sucked into this video game and they got to figure it out. Jack Black is probably like the Robin Williams type character. I don't know, like that kind of plot works. It worked for Sonic. Sonic is almost like the opposite of this, but it's very similar at the same time where the video game kind of comes to the real world, right? And then here, what, it's the opposite. The real world comes into the video game. Even Mario kind of did that too, you know? The real world goes into the fantasy land. The fantasy land is the video. You know what I'm saying? Like, this kind of plot is used all the time in these video game adaptations, and clearly it's working, but people look at this and, and they're like appalled by it. I, I'm not sure, you know, just because there's live action people. I don't know, I think we're getting upset about all the wrong things here, you know? I feel like if people are gonna get upset, 
I'm not so sure that this is the thing to really get hung up on, especially where it's clearly aimed at kids. And not to say that adults can't like kids movies, right? Super Mario Brothers and Sonic, for example. I like those movies, right? I, I can enjoy that movie as a fan of the games, but they're very clearly children's movie guys. You know, I, I, I just think it's strange to get up in arms about it. And it'd be one thing if everybody was just complaining about the live action elements of this movie, but people are saying that all oh, the movie looks cringe and it looks bad and all oh, the Minecraft world looks like shit. It's like, I think we should complain about things once they're out and once we're seeing it, okay? Time and time again, people will always complain ahead of time for no reason and it gets so many clicks and so much hype around hating on things. Like, did we forget when the Super Mario Brothers movie came out and everybody was hating on Chris Pratt and they're like, holy shit, this guy fucking sucks. This movie's gonna suck, boycott this movie. And then it made a billion dollars and everybody liked it. Or even when they fixed the Sonic design, people were still bitching. Oh my God, it's cringe, he's flossing, this movie fucking sucks. But then everybody liked it. Everybody liked it so much that they made three of them. And the third one's coming out and everybody's hyped about it. You're all fucking fake. And of course, let's not forget when everybody hated on Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck and Heath Ledger when they all played those DC characters. And then everybody loves them now. Stop complaining. Can we just relax and just enjoy things before they come out where we can actually make a correct assessment? Does everything have to be doom and gloom? Does everything have to be mindless hate all the time? Like, does it not get tiring? And don't get me wrong, it's not like my channel is exempt of criticism and talking about the negatives of something, right? Of course, I, I do that quite often on this channel. But you should critique it when it's out. You know, a, te a one minute teaser trailer that shows nothing, basically. Is this really enough to start raging about and wanting to cancel the movie and saying that you're not gonna see it and blah, 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 or bitching about the Steve design? Who the fuck is Steve, bro? Steve doesn't have a fucking personality. He doesn't even have a voice outside of like some grunts, okay? No one knows who the fuck Steve is. So people are saying, why is Jack Black Steve, bro? Like, that's not my Steve. Why does his shirt look like that? What the fuck do you want? What are we even talking about? I don't know. You know what, speaking of which, I went on way too long in this video. I've talked way too much about this, uh, but it was fun. You know, I actually might do more trailer reactions or trailer reviews uh, on this channel. That was fun. And that's it. Those are my thoughts. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.